Let's look at your presentation review where you critique a presentation by a classmate. So you'll open this document and you'll make a copy of this document and rename it. When you make that copy, it lets you uh, name it. Check it out. Uh, I need to see your last name as the name of the document and which number of the review this is. So the first time you do a review, you're going to call that document, for example, Yoakum 1, number 1. Guys, don't name it after me. Name it after yourself. But it would also say number one in the document right there. Okay, last name, number one. We're going to do four of them. So I should get, I should be able to search my email boxes at the end of this and say, okay, yes, I saw all four from you just by subject line, okay, or by the name of the document that you send me. Uh, email this to yokumk at sanexfact.com. If you email it through the Google Classroom function, I'm not going to see that email until later on. I'm not going to see it anytime this week. And I'll mark it down as a zero, and you and I will have to go hunt it down. So make the copy. Send the copy to yokumk at sanexfact.com. Um, that's the email that I check every day. Okay, now for the process uh, itself, you're also going to go open the document of presentations that I posted on Google Classroom. You'll see a list of most of your classmates and the names of the poets that they um, presented. Click on that name of the poet and that should take you straight to a YouTube video. Uh, side note, if it doesn't take you to a video or if it takes you to the wrong video, send me a quick email to let me know that I have it posted incorrectly. Um, I'll give guys a bonus point for everybody who helps me with something like that. Okay, now, um, if it's, make sure that you send it to me um, and be clear, Mr. Yoakum, I tried to click on this and here's what happened. Okay, and then I want to get those cleaned up. But posting things like this, we may have made a mistake or two. So just let me know if I need to fix anything. Now, to get your 10 points for each of these, okay, 10 points for each critique that you do, you're going to fill in each cell. Now, the directions say write one complete sentence for each cell in the table below. You don't need a complete sentence for the poet's name or the presenter's name, all right? But then for the rest of these, write at least one complete sentence. Remember, we're, we're practicing writing and communicating and thinking and showing what we think. And that's got to be done in complete sentences for schoolwork. So please make sure that you have those taken care of. Now, email this finished product to me. Also send it to the person who created the video, all right? We should want feedback. We know feedback helps us grow. You should get some emails today about your presentation, and you should open those up and just take a quick look. I'm talking about spending 30 seconds on it. See what people thought of your uh, presentation. Resist the urge to say that they're not right and just see what people think about your product. Guys, that's just a great habit um, to get you ready for uh, school, but also for adulthood, okay? Just learning to improve on your efforts. Um, make sure that I get an email. I should get two emails from every student today. Um, and each of those should have an attachment with the proper name of the document, and they should also be sent to a classmate. And I can get more emails than that if you want. Please be in touch with me if you have questions, if anything is not clear. We haven't done this exact process before, so I expect you to not be sure about it, and I'm ready to help you if you let me know where you're stuck. I do miss you guys. I do hope you're having a great day, and I will